This is the leg of the F9 service uh, from Rose Bay to Watson's Bay. So this service only has one stop, which is at Rose Bay, before reaching its final destination, which is Watson's Bay. Um, here I've focused on that uh, Scottish baronial castle looking thing up on the hill, and that's actually Kincopple Rose Bay. So it's a private girls' school. And um, it does make a different contrast to what we are used to, you know, the Sydney sandstone buildings of the CBD and surrounds. The Vaucluse Water Tower is behind it, that prominent uh, cylindrical building there. So, but this is Rose Bay for you. Um, uh, as you can see, all the houses tend to face the water, just to capture the harbour views, and that's uh, Rose Bay Beach. So Rose Bay is famous for its seaplanes. You can still uh, catch a seaplane to take you all to all sorts of places, including Canberra, um, the Hawkesbury River, if you want to, to view that part of Sydney. So this was um, a, a nice August wind, uh, winter's day, and uh, August has been, uh, well, the latter half of August has been rather warm compared to um to the previous month where it's it's been a chilly winter so it almost felt like spring or early summer here that spire that you see is from st michael's uh, anglican at south head so um closer to uh, the ocean you will have north head where manley's located in south head but rose bay or clues watson's bay is located so um, where you see a lot of bushland it's usually deemed part of the sydney harbour national park and that is something that uh us Sydney siders are, are very pleased to have uh, public walks along the foreshore. There in the distance, a white house, and uh, that's actually called Strickland House. It now belongs to the state government, um, but it, it's a wonderful estate. And you can just imagine 100 or 150 years ago, all these uh, s estates around the harbour. Um, you could still see some examples in the west, but this is one prime example of that. So Strickland House or Strickland Estate with that. Wonderful walk to the beach there. Um, it's north facing, you know, it's it's got that grandiose um, showmanship that shows, hey, I have made it in Sydney. So if you have made it in Sydney, you usually have a harbour side mansion. Okay, so similar to if you can make it in New York, you can make it elsewhere. If you make it in Sydney, um, your trophy home on the harbour is probably the best um, example of that. So uh, as you can see, this is the bushland there. So it is a public walk. So even, you know, even the richest people in Sydney have to share this wonderful, glorious uh, public asset that we have here. So um, it, it's, it's wonderful that we do have this. And I know metropolises around the world uh, do struggle with that, you know, uh, but it still remains in public hands and long may it remain so. So I've just panned it to the northern part of the harbour, so towards North Head and Manly, so um, I'll take uh, the Manly Ferry and, and give you my commentary there. But uh, here, just rounding around the point here, is Nielsen Park. So the last time I was at Nielsen Park, there was an artist um, painting a landscape, and it was lovely to see, but now, as I understand it, they are rebuilding the seawall. So Nielsen Park is, is a lovely place to go to. There's a playground there and there's a picnic area and the house there um, houses the kiosk so it's rather sad to see it bereft of swimmers and even surfers when the tide is right so I hope they do build the seawall well there so we can enjoy Nielsen Park again but see around here you can see you know the waters are inviting you to to have a snorkel and have a swim in there just because it's it's closer to uh the pacific ocean so it's, it's relatively clean and if you see any rock wall like this um you know there's some wonderful sea life that you can see so just rounding here now is vaucluse bay and like any sheltered cove or sheltered bay uh the boats um are parked there so i do wonder how many times those boats get out to sea and feel the wind on the water or wind on your faces or the seawater on your <laughs> faces there um so yes this is uh as, as mentioned in in previous points that this is a a relatively expensive part of sydney and indeed australia and what you see there the beach in the background is parsley bay 
So with that walkway across the the beach, I have fond memories as a student uh, where some of my classmates um, jumped from the bridge and into the water, so they bombed it. And I think it was high tide, so it is deep enough, but obviously accidents happen. Um, I was not never brave enough to jump off the bridge, but uh, there you go. But I, I have snorkeled around those waters there, so it is a lovely spot. And so we pan, pan towards our final destination, which is Watson's Bay. So there's a nice stretch of beach there. Um, I'm reminded of the German fishing villages I have visited before. You know, you catch a ferry. I'm thinking, you know, more specifically of Hamburg in the northern part of Germany. And then you take a, a, a boat ride. And yes, this used to be an old fishing village, but it has somewhat gentrified. And as you can see, that is the same with Watson's Bay. So uh, Watson's Bay is famous for the Doyle's um, restaurant, which is uh, on the left side of the wharf. But they also have a, a, a chibia takeaway uh, place there, the blue building that you see right ahead of us. The, the restaurant is there with the awnings, as you can see, right on the waterfront. And, you know, it, it's easy to make a day out to Watson's Bay, take the ferry to Watson's Bay, have a fish and chips. Um, you know, eat it at the beach or at the park behind it, enjoying the fig trees and just enjoy life, you know. Um, and that's what life is all about. Um, some lovely fig trees, as you can see. And obviously you can see you could also catch a bus here. Um, that great, that uh, red roofed terracotta tile building on the right, I think is a function centre. Um it's been several years since I've been there, but uh, I once attended a wedding there. So this is this is where we are pulling up to Watson's Bay. And this is just a panorama of the CBD and the eastern suburbs and the view from Watson's Bay.